Welcome YouTube. The video you're about to see is a reaction video. It is a video of opinion. Nothing personal is meant toward the individuals in the videos. My volition uh, for posting these reaction videos is to look at these videos and critique them through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Usually they are quantum grammar related videos and I'm looking for correct sentence structure knowledge here. And I'm also looking at the claims made in the videos through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Now you may notice that I'm doing certain things with my hands. I am not making any secret hand signs or gestures. When one is doing public speaking, there's only so many things you can do with your hands. You can fold them, maybe put them on your hips, dangling lifelessly at your sides, put them in your pockets, hold them like this, whatever it is. I'm not making any type of signaling gestures, unless I do this, which means shaka. So, keep in mind the information, the things that I'm sharing in this video, are for educational purposes only, entertainment purposes only, nothing personal towards the individuals in the videos themselves. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to this Coral Blade Grotto broadcast. Uh, if you don't already know, this is a reaction video, a video of opinion. I will be including it on my Coral Blade Grotto website as well as my grammar channel as it does have to do with uh, correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. And I'm going to be reacting to a video taken from a channel called Super Soldier Talk off of Rumble. I think it's on YouTube as well. And this individual here you see on the left is interviewing this woman whose name is Mary Beaver. And she makes the claim of being an MK Delta super soldier as well as a cryptologic linguist okay and the the video itself which there will be a link to it in the description of the video um it's like over two hours long and i did see most of it and a lot of it the majority of it the vast majority of it is her making claims of um abuse of being groomed of being trained to be super soldier going off planet into different galaxies meeting different alien races, so on and so forth. Uh, definitely speaking about things that are not, by any sense of the imagination, easily certifiable. So, of course, you know my focus is on the grammar. And what interested me was an individual, a viewer, sent this, uh, shared this link with me because this they told me and what what uh pecued my interest in it was that they said that this woman claimed that she used correct sentence structure to get free of the system or something like that so let's see exactly what correct sentence structure knowledge if any that she possesses and where she's coming from now this is just a very small part of a very long video yeah, do you have any documentation or, or other uh, sense of data you could share with us that you have not shared yet that, that you want to anyway, at this time? <laughs> I don't know if I want to at this time. I was given the green light to talk about it, but I think if names start coming out, I might put myself and my children at risk. So. Of course, safety is always the first, uh, the first priority of anyone out there. Um, it's interesting, though. And I'll make this statement, not statement, but just an opinion about what I did watch of the video is that the way she spoke and her very, for lack of a better term, haphazard recollection of events and the names of, of certain things and locations and, and stuff like that is not congruent with my knowledge of anyone who's ever been in the military for a decade or more you know someone that has a lot of military experience um 
has been in that construct for many, many years. There's a certain way they carry themselves and they are able to rattle off knowledge like just like that, like lightning fast. They're very well spoken. They know times, they know dates, they know names, they know procedures, protocols. Uh, in this video, there, nowhere did she ever exhibit any type of demeanor that would lead me to believe she was ever in the military. I mean, if I just watched this video and I knew nothing about her, I would never guess in a million years that she was ever in the military. Um, so there's that. I mean, I'm not saying she wasn't. I don't know if she was or she wasn't. I'm giving you my opinion on her demeanor and the way she carries herself is not um, the demeanor of someone who spent many, 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 many years in the military. For the sake of my children, probably not today. <laughs> all right. Yeah, some of these people, they're asking questions. I think you've already, you've already gone over all this. Uh, so here's one. Who are going to give us peasants med beds? What do you think? Um, I like Dr. Sala's answer. Like, we've all graduated. We're all going to heal. Eventually, they're going to come up, but we just have to take care of the few resistance uh, corporations. Um, <clears throat> so I think it'll be soon. Uh, um, I, I think I read somewhere that the, they were going to allow the severe, deformed, or damaged bodies or humans to go first, and then those with, like, like um, heart issues and life-threatening uh, stuff, but some people who can obviously live the next 10 years, uh, it'll be a process. I mean, there's still a lot of people on the planet, and I think there's, I don't know how many med beds there are, maybe 100,000, and we have 700 billion people on the planet, so. Okay. How about this? Uh, so when the cabal are erased, are we going to be allowed to explore space? Uh, yes. But when the cabal are erased, are we going to be allowed to explore space? So what Think, think about that question for a moment, ladies and gentlemen. When the cabal are erased, so are we talking about murdering the cabal? Are we talking about murder of other men and women? Number one. And number two, who is allowing it? Who's the authority? Who? What authority are they talking about? If you and I are our own authorities, who are they talking about? you have to be into a quantum situation um and that's where the quantum government's coming in so i don't know what that looks like for everybody um i know i can being on um the live life quantum claim under russell j gold but um i would stay away from the the other ones uh until more knowledge comes out so what she just said there is that under Russell J. Gould, meaning she has subordinated herself to Russell J. Gould's claim of the live life, which you do if you buy a live life claim with uh, Russell's thumbprint and autograph on it, you have subordinated yourself to him. He has the copyright copy claim of your live life. Um, now you're allowed to travel in space. So I guess... The alternative is if you don't have it, then you're not allowed to travel in space. But guess what, folks? We travel through space every day. I travel through the sea of space unhindered with no one's authority except for my own. Now, she said until more knowledge comes out, which makes sense, because obviously, um, based upon what she said, she doesn't have closure on correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. Otherwise, I would have to guess, especially someone in the military who got out of the military who is now perhaps against the military in, in that respect, that they're peaceful and, and don't want to participate with that type of thing anymore, that they would not want to subordinate themselves to another man or woman, but yet she has. Is it because of lack of knowledge? Who knows? But if I had to guess, I'd guess that she has about zero correct sentence structure knowledge. Not very much, but we'll we'll find out. But yeah, definitely, we were we were disclosed that or we were told that we could go into space having the live life thing. 
We were told we could go into space with the live life claim. Told by whom? Who is permitting you to do this? Who have you given authority to over you? Who has authority over you? Who have you submitted to? Did Russell J. Gould tell you? Yeah, you go ahead. You, you can go into space. Go ahead, kid. Go ahead. Go have fun. <laughs> you have to be back before the streetlights come on, though. Because we're off of the other systems being owned by slave owners. Okay, so how can people contact you or learn more? Do you have a website? Do you do any kind of services? Of course, email address. Uh, I, yeah, the email address would be fine. Um, I do have a couple websites. I've, I've kind of, I have one for the soul retrieval. I do um, soul retrieval claims to get your soul back in the Phoenician. I don't know if you can see that. But they look like scrolls. They are. She does soul retrieval scrolls in Phoenician. Hmm. Now I am definitely convinced that this woman has no idea what correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar is or what it does. If she's creating adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, Phoenician scrolls for soul retrieval from the vatican re meaning no your scrolls are on that old parchment paper in the ancient phoenician so kind of try to help people free their soul from the vatican all right so we just reach out to you in the email address um yeah. okay i'll be sure to put that in in there and um uh, Ladies and gentlemen, what is a soul? What is a soul? This, ladies and gentlemen, is a candle. I can certify to you that this is a candle. It has a wick in it. You know, you can light it and it has light. You know, I can certify these things to you. Okay, your turn. Show me a soul. Show me what that is. Certify that to me because I'd like to know what it is. I'm retrieving from the Vatican. Okay If anybody out there wants to uh, Give me closure on that you can leave it in the comments. Thank you. And all right. Well, I guess that's that's it for now So with that uh, any other final comments that you want to mention? Mm, no, I don't think so <laughs> okay. I think we covered a lot today Great. Well, audience members, uh, be sure to subscribe. Oh, like actually, oh, um, sorry. Uh, so See that? Oops, sorry. She looked this way. And then all of a sudden she remembered something. So someone must, have, must be telling her what to say here. That's very interesting. I actually watched this before. I didn't catch that the first time. She was looking off to her right. And someone was obviously telling her, let's find out what it is they told her to say. So when the aliens do show themselves, don't shoot at them. They're not that bad. <laughs> if they, they're doing some kind of attack up in, uh, in the sky, then. Uh, so this is like a first contact event. Right, right. but it's still going to be scary because we've been seeing, we watch all these movies. Again, we were, we were raised in fear of anybody trying to approach us. So we'll panic and they're just as fragile as we are. Well. To say we'll panic, I mean, that's an assumption. Who knows? I don't know what I would do if I saw an alien as described in the movies or in conspiracy theories and things like that. Uh, don't shoot at the aliens. Well, you know, aliens better not better come correct then. I know that when I speak to an alien, if an alien comes, I won't be using plain English. I can tell you that. So they better know how to get onto the geometric level playing field. And of course, by the way, any aliens out there who are watching right now, if you want to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, feel free to contact me at the email address being screened uh, across the bottom of the video here. And I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation with you to see if that is indeed what you want to do. Any aliens or humans or anybody out there who's with the volition of learning this. All right. So. I did a little further research and I found this woman on Twitter 
So let's see if we can find any evidence of correct sentence structure knowledge here. As we see here, we have a Twitter account. This is her Twitter account. You see colon and then IN, a vowel in front of a consonant, no contract. Civilian scientist, no hyphen in between these two words. So this is all adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. Let's go a little bit further here. Okay, there you see the name. And the old common mistake of the colon space federal, which means of the, that is not correct. And then we have ly, a particle of negation, and then a past tense cuss word. And then a vowel in front of a consonant. Yes, this individual has very, very minimal correct sentence structure knowledge here of the save yourself right uh-huh well yeah i think i've seen about enough of what i needed to see thank you for joining me for this uh reaction video to the individual in the video, either the interviewer or Mary Beaver, if you want to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, you may email me again at the email address screened at the bottom of your video, and I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation. Same thing goes for any aliens out there or anyone else who wants to learn the grammar. Be more than happy to teach it to you uh, with rule one, rule equal, peace, neutrality, and a uh, balance of the honor and the grace. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it provided some clarity on the subjects mentioned. You can email me at the email address that's uh, been screened at the bottom of your picture for the whole video, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. If you have any grammar questions, or if you wish to participate in a 10 to 15 minute video consult, or if you wish to apply for a correct grammar workshop, you can email me there. Please like and subscribe to this channel and also my Coral Blade Grotto channel if you'd like. And always remember that authority comes from knowledge and the skill in conveying that knowledge and closure. Thanks.